Welcome to your van life with our three little Chihuahua girls, episode 76. We are headed to Alberta, but first must stop in Kamloops for the night at a provincial park. We take a quick look around before settling in. Thank you for watching. All right, available sites. So we are campers without reservations. Choose any available first come first serve site. Park Towns Restaurant Grounds. Okay. Non reservable sites basically 1 through 47. Available resources report. I see 76 is available. That's on the water. You say we either take 76 or any of the first come, first serve. So we are here outside of Kamloops, British Columbia on a very hot summer day, end of August and saw this place on the provincial BC. This is our first provincial park. We got a first come first serve campsite already and we cruise down to the beach area which is nice grass and has a dog area um, but we're just going to do a quick little walk around and take a look at this beautiful lake so this is called paul lake and uh super peaceful here this is the day use area and we're gonna be here for one night Nestled in these uh, hills. Not too many people swimming. Let's see how cold it is. Oh no, that's bad. That's, that's uh, pre slake temperature. Thank God. I'd love to ski on this water every day. <laughs> what do you think, Pia? Mm -hmm. How big is this thing? Looks like it stops there and then it curves around. There's the doggies. Chihuahuas. Hey, where's Chihuahua? I'm going to get back so she's going to have We have, she's licking the cheese. Hey, hey, no lickies. We have, <laughs> have an aspiring cook. A culinary uh, apprentice. There's Boba. She's being moody right now. She just wants to stay in the van. Mm -hmm. And then love her van. we got little Bale Organa here. She's happy as can be. She chased me around the van. We were playing for a little bit to get some of her puppy energy out. And then there is Chewbacca. She's just investigating and we didn't take them down to the beach because we weren't going to stay long and it was crowded with other dogs. Lots of dogs free. So we didn't want them getting into any trouble. I wanted to talk about our week long journey so far. When we first had planned out the trip, the the original plan was to get up to here to Canada for the first week of our two-week vacation. And then after that, we were going to get up to Washington and to Priest Lake. But because our Volta, we noticed our Volta battery had stopped working that Sunday. 
so we had to scrap our plans. So on Saturday, two Saturdays ago, we headed up to Bend, Oregon to a BLM spot and that's where we spent the night. The site itself was actually pretty secluded. There were probably, or we noticed only one RV at the same BLM spot, but they were a little bit away from us, so we had pretty much the entire area to ourselves, so it's pretty secluded. And then after we left that Sunday morning, we noticed that our ba battery had gotten down to 40% on our Volta. So we drove for about two hours and we noticed that our battery wasn't charging at all and it just stayed at 40%. So we thought that something was definitely off with either the alternator or a fuse had probably broken down. So we reached out to people from the Fate Storyteller Facebook group and with David's help, we were able to get in touch with people from Volta. Right when we first stopped for the night in Bend on Saturday, we noticed it. And then when we left Oregon, or left Bend on Sunday, we started a troubleshoot with help from the storyteller group, mainly David and others. And that's when we figured out that we had to really get it fixed if we are going to be able to spend the rest of the vacation having any boondocking like we are tonight with no power hookups. So we started troubleshooting on Sunday. <clears throat> when we got to our campground in Rainier, Mount Rainier, uh, near Mount Rainier National Park, that's when we figured out that we had to get on the horn with Volta in the morning and get find out where to go. And then we found out that we had to go to Utah. We went to Utah for Tuesday. <laughs> so it was a lot of work to get to Monday to start talking to the people that were at work. So we ended up getting an Airbnb in Utah at, in Salt Lake City because of our dogs. And so we knew we had to drop off the van at uh, Van Builders and we definitely couldn't just stay in the van while they were fixing our Volta. So uh, that's why we got the Airbnb. Plus we got to our, our Airbnb around 2 a.m. that Tuesday. Or was it Tuesday night? Tuesday 2 a.m. Wednesday. So then we dropped off Bye. the van Wednesday morning, but at the same time had noticed that there was something wrong with Chewbacca, which I don't think we've really talked about yet, but we noticed Chewbacca was having shortness of breath, trouble breathing. And so we had we knew we had to get her to the vet. So we got her to the vet. Uh, med vet actually which they also have services in in the bay area where we've taken our dogs before so they are familiar to us and they have amazing services and we're so grateful that they were able to do an echocardiogram and a cardiologist to see Chewbacca because Chewbacca does have a history of heart failure and we found out that day, that Wednesday, that her heart failure had progressed. And so now she's on a ton of medications to help her heart. Basically, they said that Chewbacca probably has between six to six months to a year left before her condition gets worse. And this was a, such a huge blow to us because we had just lost Yoda. A few weeks before, and we also had lost Jabba uh, back in June. Jabba had progressive heart failure as well, was having just poor quality of life where he wasn't breathing properly anymore. He was getting up every 30 minutes to an hour in the middle of the night 
to use the bathroom because he was having such a hard time breathing because of the fluids that were collecting in his lungs. And then with his collapsed trachea, he was also coughing quite a bit. And then he also had arthritis uh, on his legs. And so um, we found that it was time to let him go at that time in June. And with Yoda, he stopped. He, he has history of pancreatitis and kidney disease. He, both Jabba and Yoda were 17 years old. So with Yoda, he just stopped eating. He was throwing up even after drinking water. And so we knew it was time to have him put down as well. And this was a few weeks ago. So learning about Chewbacca's condition was definitely heartbreaking for us because we had just lost two of our 17-year-old boys and we weren't ready to lose the third one. So we're giving Chewbacca the best quality of life for uh, right now. And so far with the new medications that she's on, she's doing really, really well. So yeah, so Chewbacca is doing really well. So after we stayed in Salt Lake City on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and then by Thursday we made our way up back to Washington where we stayed at another BLM spot. Did we stay in a BLM spot? Mm -hmm. Private Oregon. And public Oregon. Oh, we stayed in Oregon? Mm -hmm. Okay, we stopped in Oregon. Everything has been a blur already since we spent so much time driving around. And um, so that was Thursday. And Thursday was when we started driving, right? So Friday was when we got up. To no, Wednesday. <laughs> okay, my we timing's left, off. We left Wednesday. So when how, we spent two nights in Utah, was that Monday night, Tuesday Monday night, Tuesday night. Okay, so my timing was all off. So Monday night, 2 a.m. is when we got to Salt Lake City, Utah, and then we stayed there Tuesday night, left Wednesday morning, got to Oregon, spent the day in Oregon, or spent the night in Oregon, BLM, and then we drove, Thursday, we drove up to Vancouver. And we parked, we basically camped at my brother's um, uh, driveway for the night where we did some laundry and ate good food and saw my nephews. And then Friday was when we headed up to Whistler and spent the entire weekend there. And we broke camp today Sunday and now we're here in Kamloops at Paul Lake so we're gonna spend the night here and then move on with our journey so it's been a blurry year of events and lots of driving so I hope that we got enough content for you guys I don't think we really did a lot of filming because of all the driving that we did and it becomes repetitive, you know, when all you're doing is just driving and showing uh, your drive, the road ahead of you. And then when we get to camp, all we do is set up and cook and eat and then go to sleep. We haven't even really caught up with our shows uh, that we like to watch. But now that we got here early, we will probably eat dinner, walk the dogs a little bit, and then uh, watch some Netflix. 
So look who's deciding to come out of her shell. There's oh. Boba Fett. 